Hey guys, welcome. Linux Mint 21.3 Cinnamon. Beta, beta. Brand new, hot off the press as of December 7th. I believe they posted it even today. So today I'm gonna to talk about what's new on Linux Mint 21.3 Cinnamon Desktop. Documentation, let's take a peek at the release notes. Well, they haven't finished that information yet. So how about new features? Same thing. They haven't gotten around to do this yet. So I will talk about this manually. And I will give you a couple of tips and tricks along the way. So I'll say welcome, folks. You should see a person, uh, icon of a person here. Uh, Linux for Seniors is the channel you're watching. You can click that icon to subscribe if you like to Linux for Seniors. 280 videos and growing on all kinds of tips and tricks. In my about section, I make mention of the fact that uh, Linux is for any age. All my videos are also keyword indexed. For you folks that want system information, I'll give it to you this way and then we'll move on. I'll make this a little bit larger for you. Okay, Linux Mint 21.3, codename Virginia, GCC 1140. 515 series kernel, they also offer six I can uh, show you where that is located a little bit later. Cinnamon version 6, Ubuntu 2204 Jammy. For you folks that are curious what kind of hardware I'm using, motherboard is a MicroStar B550M with an AMD Ryzen 5 5600 CPU. Also AMD graphics card, four gigabyte Radon RX 550. This looks very, very nice in 4K. It also offers me a, lot of, a little bit of scaling too on this graphics card and probably on yours too. However, I am filming in 1920 by 1080 for compatibility and also, um, well, for you folks that want a little bit lower, less screen resolution. You can adjust your YouTube player accordingly if necessary. I'm going to use Alt and F4 to close that. And uh, again, you're watching this on Linux for Seniors. So what's new? Right click, I have a new setting in here. Actually two of them that I activated. These are normally not here, even if you installed LM21.3. But I'm gonna first start with uh, backgrounds. New folder called Virginia. Let's take a peek at some of these gorgeous wallpapers or backgrounds. Beautiful. This one here is from my homeland of Iceland. This is a puffin. But uh, I'm not going to sit here all day, but I just wanted to show you a couple of them. So now I'm going to go black and white. And let's talk about these options here. So these are normally not here. Even if you install LM21.3 beta, you will not have these until you actually turn them on. Now this is a new feature with 21.3. It's called Actions. They're similar to applets and desklets. If you're not familiar with those terms, applets are the little toys down here on the right hand side of your panel bar and the desklets are on your desktop. That's a desklet calendar, for instance. So I'm going to open this up and you can see there's two items in the list. This will be blank when you first install your system. I'm going to remove these on purpose. So I will give you the experience of what it looks like. So again, you just go and click that. Now I just noticed I have something else turned on and I apologize. I have very large scroll bars. This feature was available on the previous version. And if you don't mind, I'm going to deactivate it. And then I'll close and reopen. So action items. Uh, if you'd like, I will show you how to make that wider later. But uh, anyways, let's talk about what, I, what you clicked on here, the video. So this is one new item actions again downloads and these are kind of like different toys very similar to applets and desklets you can also read about them on the cinnamon spices website you just click and hit the light bulb so i'm going to install this one so i'm just going to click the down arrow so that's one it gives me a check mark and this one then i'll go to manage now before i activate them i wanted to let you see what the menu looks like when you right click so this is the standard menu I'm going to add these two items to this list and all I need to do is activate them. So these are two new toys 
and more importantly, now they're here. You know, everybody likes different things and uh, someone on the Linux Mint team decided this must be a good feature or requested one. I kind of like this actually, but maybe some folks don't. Okay, now there's another one I activated here was called Restart Cinnamon. I'm going to do this while filming and talking and I'm not going to splice the video. This is another preferred method of mine to restart Cinnamon. I've shown this many times. Right click, troubleshoot, restart. It's a little softer. I'm still not done yet. So again, this is a new icon, okay, called Actions. Now I'll go back and go back to uh, Themes and normally you have to hit, if you're on this, you hit Advanced, Settings, and then you can override the current themes. Scroll bar width, keep in mind it's the width. It's defaults to 10. I'm going to crank it up to 20 something. And then I need to close and reopen because otherwise it doesn't uh, activate. Now you can see how wide that thing is. All right, so just a quick tip there. That was available on the previous version, so it's not new. All right, so I have another system settings here, and I want to point out the fact that I'm running on X11 because you also have Wayland now available as an experimental. And the next item I'm going to talk about has it's in twofold is the login window. So your login window default um, on your current computer, Linux Mint 21.2, is normally on the left side. With the new feature, you can put it on the left, the center, or the right side, the actual box that has the name of your user. All right, so let me first talk about that, then I'll talk about this thing with Wayland. I'm going to log in here first. It's the first item at the top. It's called alignment. Mine is set to center. The default is left. Okay, when you uh, install 21.3, it will be on the left. You can click the center, and as soon as you do that and you log out of your system and back in, the new login window box it will be in the center. All right, with that said, I, your login window has a username on it, but it also has another icon on it. And uh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna right click and do the configure. What I'm looking for is uh, this icon here to display for you. So this is the cinnamon icon. So that icon there without the writing on it, you will see on your login screen. That icon you can actually click to actually log into the Wayland desktop. All right, so Wayland, what is Wayland? Let's uh, minimize this and open up a web browser. So I happen to have a link to um, Wikipedia that defines what the Wayland protocol is. You can do the same. Go to the internet and look up the Wayland or Wayland protocol. You know, a lot of the Linux distros are moving to this. Okay, so I'm currently using X11. All right, if you want to think about that. So actually, I think I still have the settings open it's right here. So I'm using X11, but again, if you wanted to log into Wayland, you do that from the login screen. You click on the cinnamon icon and you'll find that experimental feature there if you want to try that out. Okay, um, GuffW is still your firewall and it comes default off. You can certainly turn it on, but if you are file sharing like with Warpinator, don't forget about those rules. Uh, Warpinator does import rules into here if you have ever used that feature. All right. Now that you can see how big the scroll bar is. So let's open up the file manager Nemo. This is version six. So uh, in the Linux Mint website, there's a blog area that uh, has a monthly blog that's done by Clem. I'll show you that in a minute. That will be discussing everything that I'm showing you. Okay, but more importantly, I'm demoing it for you. So in my download folder, I have an ISO, a computer image of a different Linux distribution. So I have that already sitting here as my demo. I can right click on it and verify that. That's one of the new tools and also make it bootable. It's also mentioned in there on the um, website. I'll cover that a little bit later. Now, a lot of these features I've shown in the past, your behavior, not yours, the file manager set for double click. That means I can single click on a 
photo, for instance, and hit the space bar to get a preview. And then hit the space bar to close that. It's just a quick preview. You can also click that to go full screen and space bar to close. So I can do this all day long. That feature is still there. All right. Not really going to talk about resizing icons. You can probably watch some of my other videos for all kinds of tips and tricks on the file manager. Continuing on. We have uh, also the Hypnotics IPT player has a new feature where you can add a new channel. All right, so I'm going to actually go onto the Linux Mint website because uh, we do probably have some users that have never experienced Mint. And then there are some users that have Mint but um, don't really know too much about the navigation in here. So first of all, you can certainly download 21.2 from here and some others, but you can also go to the straight download and all versions right here. All right. So I'm going to scroll this back on this uh, website to let you see how long this list is. LMDE, I'm sorry, Linux Mint Debian Edition version 6 is down at the bottom, codenamed Fay, which is also a Cinnamon desktop. I'll talk a little bit more about that. Now I'm going to blow this back up, make it larger in other words. So this is the current release version, 21.2. So 21.3 again hasn't been officially released. It's still in beta. That's why you're watching this video. 21.2, however, will be supported until 27. So will 21.1 and 21. 20.3 20 will end support on 2025. So that's one reason to be in here to look at that stuff. The second reason, a lot of people don't know what the difference between these two are. Standard Cinnamon Desktop uses an, uh, um, an older kernel. This uses a newer kernel, Linux kernel, the heart of your system. For newer hardware, newer computers. If you did not know where the Linux kernel is on any of your Cinnamon Desktops, it's underneath the shield for Linux Mint. It's located under view, under here. I'm not advocating you change your kernel. I'm just showing you where it's located. If you decide to play, I heavily recommend reading this and taking a digital photo of that. But I'm currently using the 515 series kernel ending with 91. That's down at the bottom down here. That's the active and installed kernel. 519s are end of life. The 6.2 series are more advanced, but you can still install those. Again, I don't advocate. I'm just telling you where they are. And some of you folks know how to do this. But I wanted to let you see what's available on this beta. Now I'm going to continue. So I'm not going to talk about the older versions. I am just going to scroll to the top and then point to one more feature for LMDE 6. It's all by itself, but it's also at the bottom of this list. It's right here. That's the link to it. But this is another way. Linux Mint Debian Edition. Okay, codename Fay. I also have videos on this. Now, I'm going to talk about the links now. A lot of you folks don't know where extra information is. Today I'm going to talk about the blog and information on 21.3 beta that I've been showing you this whole video. This was produced yesterday by Clem, December 6th. Today's date is the 7th. Today is when they released the beta for 21.3. Again, beta. Official release is still pending. Okay, All the stuff that I talked about in this video is right here talked about right clicking on a ISO. Again, an ISO is a computer image. If you didn't know, you can do verify and make bootable USB stick in the context menu. I also talked about the action menu, right click system settings, that one, and all the toys that they have in here. And there's also, they claim that there's going to be a huge variety of new actions popping up in the community. Well, we'll see. I talked about the Wayland support. That would be from your login screen looking for that Cinnamon logo where you can click on to play with the experimental alpha Wayland support. I also talked about that uh, IPT player called uh, Hypnotics to add that new channel. 
and the slick greeter, I like that word, is where your login screen alignment tool is to make it from the left to the center to the right. I didn't talk about bulking or picks. I think you can probably figure that out if you use those kind of tools. But I'm done. And I'll say thank you for watching.